Hi, hi everyone, this is Melia Mucks About, preparing to muck about once again in Final Fantasy XV, um, the extended world. I have been playing the multiplayer comrades. Uh, as you can tell, I have been mucking about chocobo chasing all of last week, uh, which is why I am completely covered in grime. Those birds are a little bit hard to catch. Uh, but as always, I like to just chat for a minute here at the beginning, let people have time to notice that my stream is going, join if they are so inclined. Um, lots more fun with the chocobos and chocomostro up ahead, and I'm hoping to do a Moogle dance party, something I recently discovered that was absolutely amazing and I can't wait to share with everybody. So really quickly here at the beginning, I'm going to go ahead and check into some lore. Keep trying to see if we have oh yes we have a chocomostro so i'm going to talk about chocomostro so the bond between man and chocobo predates the first time someone put pen to paper <laughs> though the relationship we share with our feathered friends has undergone myriad minor changes over the years one theme has remained constant throughout time transportation yes you can ride the giant chickens in the past, all we asked of these steeds was to carry people and goods from place to place. With the advent of the long night, however, simply carting objects to and fro was no longer enough. The emphasis once placed on speed has shifted to strength. Can my chocobo defend itself, and by extension, me, from danger? I love how this is an excuse of why we have a fighting ring and we put these poor birds in a fighting ring. <laughs> This ever-growing concern has led to the development of several intensive training programs designed to prepare flocks for a fight. One such practice is known as Chocomostro, loosely based upon the Altitian tradition of Totomostro. Breeders put their birds against ferocious foes in thrilling displays of skill that this scholar of history finds quite enjoyable to watch. <laughs> So that's a little bit about the history of why we have an animal fighting pit in this game, which is morally dubious and questionable, and I do not agree with any fighting pits in real life whatsoever. So on that note, once again, hi hi, I am Melia Muxabout, preparing to muck about in the extended world of Final Fantasy XV. I'm going to stop and pick up donations here, and while I'm getting all of these materials, um, if you do want to play comrades it is still active there are communities for xbox ps4 ps5 and steam i will go ahead and put an invite in the chat um, <clears throat> this is to a discord where we do most of our coordination because finding random players in quick play is pretty challenging at this point but if you do go to that discord there are specific looking for group rooms and you can basically just go there talk about which missions you need um, check that folks are ready because there is a timer and then if people can jump in they will join your camps and help yeah old man staring at me and I'm like I know donations they take forever <laughs> all right so here to muck about a little bit more I think I'm going to start off really quickly by doing one run of baleful bandersnatch I am still after the crimson flash daggers so I'm going to pause for a moment as I put in the Discord. Camp for Baleful Bandersnatch. Going up. Here, have a look. And while this is a lower level, um, there's some really great materials in here. Very well. I'm still collecting for some of my endgame weapons. And like I said, there is a good chance of these daggers dropping that I would really like to get just because they are a fun, fun weapon. requesting backup we'll see if anyone is out there in the wilds i have to admit the comrades void has been a bit more quiet than usual lately the game has also been really really wobbly and um, the servers even went down for a little bit which kind of frightened all of us uh so it is one of those things once again if there are technical issues please bear with me bear with the game it's trying as hard as it can poor thing the little game that could <laughs> <laughs> All right, get some practice in. And last time I had confirmed that I, for some reason, cannot collect chocobos without another player. Uh, so I did do some chocobo chasing off screen, and I really lucked out and got three very nice birds. So I trained two of them. We'll go ahead and depart with our dream team. 
And I do now have a chocobo at least that can open the whole map, but I am going to train one more just to once again go through the chocobo training and show people how it's done. And we'll see what we get. Total RNG. No idea. Might be a good bird. Might not. If you have the time, I actually think it's fun to do the chocobo chasing and just train as many as you can. Um, however, I understand that can be frustrating, so there are ways to kind of get around that if it's driving you crazy. Oh, I am so filthy! Yeah, someone in chat says, how dare you? They're all good birds. They are all good birds! You take the little ones and you wrap their little legs in towels and you train them up so they're strong and then you release them in the wild to make even better chocobos. I still would love to hear what they talk about at the camp. Like, you're in this life and death situation, demons all over the world, and someone shows up in a Moogle suit. <laughs> like, what do you say to that person? <laughs> Are you taking the end of the world seriously? Because I don't think you're taking it seriously. <laughs> oh, I do love these light daggers. <laughs> Somebody in chat says, Moogle rights now! I know, no one's going to argue with this Moogle. I'm like a murder Moogle. <laughs> Taking out the Ronins now. And at least this is one use for all of those teeth that you knock out of a behemoth while you're trying to get uh, a tear from him. The teeth are what gives you light down on weapons. One more over here. There we go. Stabbed! I have been stabbed! Oh, so rude! I have definitely learned to always grab food. I have had my level 99 mage dropped by things unexpectedly too often. <laughs> yeah. Alright! Now I need to break their little faces to try and get those daggers. And of course, if I happen to be unsuccessful, breaking their faces gives you monster jaws as well, which is one of the best materials in the whole game. Oh, oh, nope, I need to get my other weapon. No! Faith, faith, yes, give me faith. There we go, there's one monster jaw. And then I'm going to stay on this guy and kill him so I don't get him confused. All right, now I need your face. Sure, be mad, be stampy. Gosh, getting on their faces can be hard. No, not the tail. Yes, now I will dance on your face. More monster jaws. I cannot be disappointed with that. I'm going to choose to leave the fresh heart on the ground. Oh my gosh, I have got to show you guys this Moogle dance party that I discovered. I'll go there next. This is just so funny. <laughs> I, I'm probably going to die, but it's going to be worth it. <laughs> oh, so much fun. Someone asked for assistance with Death Gaze, and I happened to go in with my Moogle and discovered that the Death Gaze music and dancing daggers, uh, it, it, it's an amazing experience. You'll see momentarily. <laughs> bon appetit. It's hard to recreate the taste of home, but I make do with the seasonings I have. I always question that one. The seasonings I have. Freeze-dried spiders? Goblin cans of fish? <laughs> I'm not sure I like these seasonings, Monica. <laughs> Though I suppose we should be grateful for anything 
with the impending miasmal doom. All right, Moogle dance party coming up. I know somebody in chat says dirt. She uses dirt. It would not surprise me. I would not put that past Monica. I may end up doing this twice today just because, like a little bit later for folks who missed it because, oh, it's so funny. All right, we need death gaze. For full effect, I'm going into the high level, so it is going to eat me alive. <laughs> and I'm letting the folks in the Discord know. Uh, camp for high level death gaze. Going up. Anyone welcome to join? Yeah, unfortunately, the system doesn't have a way that you can see open camps, so that's why it's so important to say the name of the camp that you're choosing to do. Uh, it's really the only way we have of finding other players. Which is why it's so handy to find people in the Discord and not so much with quick play. Given the number of missions, the chance that you're picking the same mission as any of the two other people in the whole world that are playing is pretty slim. Oh, I'm so excited! Hurry up, timer! This is gonna be amazing! <laughs> Death Gaze already has some of the best music. I should actually see about crafting some resistances, too. I don't think I have any on my weapons at the moment. And that would be really helpful for fights like this one. I can finally beat up the Practoir! Woo! Small accomplishments. A long time in coming. Oh, this is going to be bad. <laughs> and amazing! This is the whole reason I've been stuck in this game for so long. I just keep finding so many hilarious, funny things to do, even when you run out of content. <laughs> oh, come on, little game. Long loading screens make me nervous anymore. You can do it! You can do it! <laughs> yes! All right, dream team of Delilah, Gutsko, and Jenica. Oh, Jenica's going to add to this. Thank you for showing up today, girl. Oh, Omnigard's going to be amazing. And one really quick pop up here to the tent and to look around. I've talked about in the past that this game is not chronological, but sometimes with these later things you can see, oh yeah, you can even see the miasmal particles raining down like ash. Um, you can really see how the world has gone downhill. I am perfectly dressed, including the muck for this time period, I think. <laughs> and in we go! I apologize, AIs. I'm going to be spending more time dancing than fighting or saving you. <laughs> ah, Moogle dance party! <laughs> All right, bring on the purple stuff! Woo! Oh, he got me. Dang it. <laughs> Thanks, Delilah. Here we go. Lila frantically trying to heal me. Oh, let me get a little closer. <laughs> oh, I could probably save Guts Go. Yep, someone else got over there. <laughs> actually try doing something. <laughs> See if I can annoy it into even cooler moves. If the hurric ah, hurricanes get started, it's good. Thanks, Delilah. Ooh. I'm really just doing this to buff the team. That's my, my actual intent, sure. <laughs> it's such a big, mean enemy. 
now. <laughs> All right, come on. I got to do some damage. Oh, yeah. I'm not doing too bad. Oh, until then. <laughs> All right, here we go. See, dance. Yes. <laughs> for it. Oh, uh, things I never should have learned. Now I can't death gaze responsibly, just like I can't ignis responsibly. Woo! And death gaze is one of those that does have a time limit, so I can't mess around too long. Although I want him to start throwing those hurricanes, those are amazing. <laughs> I mean, how can you not? <laughs> Alright, let's get some of my uh, MP back so I can actually get in the air. Oh, this thing is so hard to hit. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, Jenica's stopping in with her Omniguard. Perfect timing. Yes! Hit the thing! Gosh, I have Aerial Ace and I still can't hit him. I'm in danger! Alright, come on! Woo! <laughs> okay, time to get serious. This is now forever the Moogle dance party for me. <laughs> oh, no, no, whatever you're doing, I don't want any part of it. Let's see, do I only have 30 seconds? I've only got 30 seconds. I don't think we're gonna win. <laughs> But I didn't die, die! I'm so impressed! <laughs> oh, I was hoping to get it to uh, start doing the hurricane. Oh! Alright, here we go! We're just gonna finish strong with a good dance! dance party. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and this is the type of silly shenanigans that I get up to. <laughs> I love this game. I'm going to be so sad when it's finally not around anymore. Oh, man. Good times. <laughs> Why did none of my friends who wear Moog costumes tell me Death Case was so fun with dancing Moogles? <laughs> oh, all right, I suppose I should finally clean some of the muck off me. And then we'll go mess with chocobos and get all filthy again. Look, clean Moog! Woo! I do love that they have a mechanic for cleaning your clothes. Oh, oh, pictures! Did V get any good pictures of the dancing Moogle? Come on, on V! All the photos my guy takes. If you my see friend, you like, my I pal! It for you. you never know. Sometimes he has good things, sometimes not. Nope. <laughs> That's not terrible, but I've seen better. 
Absolutely no good dance photos. I am disappointed. Alright, so quick discussion about chocobos and chocobo raising. As a quick reminder, the I way that you have to get chocobos in this game is you go through and you look through all of your missions and on one of them, must be on one of the off-screen ones, there will be a chocobo. Ah, he's sitting right now on the hunt, new king in town. Um, if I do get someone else who joins me, I may come and try and get it. It will move around randomly sometimes. But you look for that little chocobo icon that's right by like level 45, and if you successfully complete that mission, you should get a chocobo. Then it is complete luck whether you get a chocobo that can level up. Um, they come with base stats like 10, 20, or 20, 30. You really want to only work with 40, 50 if you can, or 50 50s. And only the 50 50 can make it all the way up to a level 99 chocobo if you're after that trophy. Um, <clears throat> But it really is luck on how what kind of bird you get. Uh, so there is a lot of, yeah, chocobo, chocobo raising, chasing, raising, all of it. It's all luck. <laughs> Which is why people tend to get frustrated. I completely understand. If RN Jesus does not like you, it's going to be a long haul. <laughs> all right, so out to Hidden Harbor, which... For some reason, this part of the game makes me claustrophobic. I have discovered it is ten times worse in this Moog outfit since Moogles are so big. <laughs> All right, so to get to the stables, I just need to rotate my camera around this way. And they're right here. Look at all these beautiful birds! So I've trained up my blue chocobo and I've trained up my red chocobo, but you can see what I was talking about about the stats, 20, 30, 40, 50. So this black chocobo has the potential to be really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and try training him. Um, I'm not... The trick that you can use is it auto saves whenever you close out of this app or close out of the menu. So if you mess up on a chocobo, you can hard close the app and it won't save. But if you've backed out of the menu, it's too late. This one, I'm just going to train without doing the hard close app trick. And we'll just see what we get. All right, select a training course to enhance one of your chocobo stats. So he's a 40-50 and has a chance of going really high. I can look down at the lower right hand corner and see that he needs both stamina and jump. So we just pick one of those to start with, and I guess I'll start with jump. And we see if he likes it. Yep, he seems happy. He's pleased. So since he liked jumping, I'm going to jump him again. But once again, this is all pretty much luck. All right, nothing there, so I'm going to try stamina. And you can see the percentages. Oh, he can't wait to get started. It will benefit greatly from the next stamina. So I'm gonna stamina again, but you can see it's gone to 6% on the far right. And now it's gonna go up even higher. Ooh, he looks pleased. Wow, he's being really friendly. Um, I need a stamina again. Why not? I need stamina and jump. Oh, he doesn't like stamina anymore. Moving on. Um, should we try an overall or another jump? Let's jump. And you can see the numbers are going up. Now he's increased by 16, but so are those little percentages. And when they get orange like this, if he injures, you have to rest him twice. All right, so I'm going to try an overall. Oh shoot, I probably shouldn't have done that because we really do need the stamina and jump. Oh, he can't wait to get started. No! <laughs> now I'm wondering if I should do it. I don't want to ruin this bird so close. All right, we're going to risk it. Okay, so now I have two tries and we made it all the way on stamina. So I'm going to go ahead and jump him. I could choose to overall at 31%, but I'm going to jump him. Oh no, I do need to overall again, because see both stamina and jump have just a little tiny bit, but as long as he doesn't injure, he'll be fine. Um, 
Oh God, I'm so scared. <laughs> if he injures us all over. <laughs> all right, come on, don't injure bird. This would be so sad. <laughs> okay, whew. But as you see, that now has gone up to 57%. And one of the tricks is whenever they're on this 10-10, it's a 50-50, they cannot injure again. So if I want, I can overall him again. And I'm gonna do it <laughs> since he won't injure. And now we get another 10 levels to do the same thing. And so if you're really being cautious, what you can do is back out like right here, which I'll do just for fun. And then it's saved. Um, and then you can come back in. So you can do that every 10 levels if you're really worried about it. From here, I'm just going to continue going in. Now we need speed and stamina. We've done no speed, so I'm just going to start speeding him. <clears throat> and speed again. And they do sometimes even get injured on these lower level percentages. Ooh, he really wants more speed. I hear you, little dude. We'll keep going. Plus, it's the safest choice right now. <laughs> wow, uh, still wants speed. I guess we'll do it. All right, so now I need to switch over to stamina. Another thing I could do is come down and do a rest just to bring some of these numbers down. I think I'm going to do one more stamina. Let's hope he doesn't injure. No, he injured. Okay, and since it's on an orange, it means that we have to rest him twice. All right, so he rests once. And he rests twice, and there's nothing you can do when they're injured. You just have to rest them. And now we need to try stamina again. Because that bar still needs to be filled. Oh, geez. And then we're going to need to do it one more time. Come on, little bird. You can do it. No, he injured again. Dang it. All right, so this one where I could normally um, have not have him injure at all and get extra stats, I'm going to have to rest him, and then I'm probably going to have to rest him one more time. But at least he went up that next 10 levels. Oh, yep, but we lose one more rest. All right, little dude. Um, that jump is really low, so I think I'm going to jump him. And jump him again. No! <laughs> so this one I'm having rotten luck with. Oh, all right, we're gonna stamina you. Chocobo seems unenthused. So I guess we'll go back to jumping because we need both jump and stamina. <laughs> and hopefully now he likes stamina a little more. <laughs> yeah, this one's gonna be close. I don't know that we'll make it. And he injured again. Oh. So like this would definitely be one that you would probably want to close up and try again. <laughs> Miserable little bird. Oh well. Life happens. It's okay little bird. You tried. So I've only got two chances to get him up there. There's no way it's going to work. So 69... Now it decreases things. And see, even if I come to overall, it's not high enough that it will fill the stats. Um, I could hit his jump. Yeah, he's not going to fill. So he's going to cap out at a 70-70. So there you go. A guide on how to train chocobos. Wow, we really did have some rotten luck with him. Okay. Let's go to the arena and test our birds out. 
Welcome to Chocomostro! So last game session, I actually put my black chocobo, my first one, up against um, the giant shrimp, and amazingly, he won. You are supposed to have a team of four, so I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of my other chocobos so he has company this time. We'll get our blue chocobo in there, our red chocobo in there, and the other black one that we just trained. He's the weak link on the team, but I'm sure he can still do it. And instead of choco beginner, I'm going to go ahead and change up to chocomore which obviously is a bandersnatch. And here is where you get the cactuar seeds. <clears throat> so you need five cactuar seeds to get the cactuar mace. It's one of the hardest items to get. This is one of the very few places that you can. Otherwise, you have to find... No, I don't even think they fall off the gigantuars. I think you might have to always get them from in here. All right, and to battle, my birdies! I release my flock of trained piranhas upon the world. <laughs> oh, this is so hilarious. So the way this works is every time the buttons come up, you have to hit them. But X and zero are broken because everything in Comrades is broken. So for zero, you have to hit X. <laughs> oh, come on. The crowd's cheering for you! <laughs> and they totally ate the Bandersnatch! <laughs> Victory dance! <laughs> oh, Alright, well, since they did so well, let's go on to Choco Pro. Bandit Splits! Fly, my little beauties! <laughs> it would have been nice if I had a green chocobo. Those do healing. I know, Chicken Scratch! <laughs> it's such a weird part of this game. <laughs> And your Chocobo stats affect how quickly their skills come back. Oh, mean old Kujata trying to roll on my Chocobos. Excuse you! <laughs> Ow. <laughs> oh, they're all down and vulnerable. Get up, my little beauties. Get up! the Kujata. Someone in chat says, it's good to know that as the world descends into darkness, people can find joy in setting giant chickens against rampaging monsters and gladiatorial games. I know, right? I do have issues with Chocomostro, and I think it's hilarious how hard they try and justify, no, this is for the bird survival, and your survival. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, on to Choco Master. Oh, they're going to go up against a Jabberwock for meteorites. Ah, no. Choco Master, wrong button. There we go. Battle. Battle! Ah, oh, Choco Master is amusing. <laughs> oh, 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 come on, come on. There we go. We might see a squished chocobo this time. They look so sad when they get squished. <laughs> Ooh, he's being mean to the little one. Come on, audience. Blow all of those horns. Save my chocobos. <laughs> Not doing too bad. That hurt. <laughs> oh, my poor chocobos. They're hurting. You can do it. Come on, guys. Come on. Oh, 
Yeah, I think we might have a squish bird. <laughs> yep, we have a couple squish birds. <laughs> no! Come on, guys, you got this. Oh, my poor little blue. <laughs> Nope, he ate my flock. <laughs> they look so sad, all squished all over the arena. <laughs> I feel terrible. Uh, Alright, so I think I do have to replace that weak link before I'll be able to actually defeat the Choco Master and then the one level higher. Uh, what is that one? Choco Champion. You do want to do these two, the Choco Master. Oh no, I guess I must have got the blue Sky Gem earlier. Nice. Um, the Rusted Plate is one of the best shields. It depends on whether you want. Oh, what is it called? Um, Im immune. Yeah, someone in chat says, because this is good training for the birds. Um, the Aegis Shield, is, the, which is that Rusted Plate, is the only one that has immune, aside from getting nectar from a Gigantoir. And let's see, I am going to get out of... Ah! Ah! This place, because it makes me claustrophobic. Alright, how do I get out of here? I know how I get out of here. Have to go on the ride, up to the elevator... And then let's see around the- Ah! No! Moogle suit! So hard to walk! Okay. Back to Listalem, where I can actually move around in my giant Moogle suit. Um, but yes, so there are some really good items in Chocomostro. It's worth doing. It's kind of a fun, silly little side of this. <laughs> but that is what you can do with your Chocobos. Sadly, you cannot ride them. Um, you can open up more of the map with them, which is what I will be doing next. If you ever wondered what happened to the world while Noctis was asleep, now you know. Chocobo fighting rings. <laughs> so many things I'm not sure that Prince Noctis would have approved of. <laughs> I guess he was a Chocomostro fan. All right. Ready to get powered up? So now I do have Chocobos that are capable of opening these routes that we were locked before. Oh, 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 can I get to that one? What is that? I need to do Menacing Max. Okay, to get up to... Dragoon. Ugh, I'm not a huge fan of Dragoon. Uh, right, so this one requires 90, 130, and 50, so I can really use my black chocobo or red chocobo. Any of my... the blue one could do it too. I have a couple chocobos that can do it. New power station! And let's power that puppy up. It's looking brighter already. Yes! Okay, better sigil, better sigil. I can never remember which sigils are where. Uh, element C. That is a sigil that none of us know how it works, but it looks really cool. Hello, Zillowby! Thank you for joining! Someone in chat has asked if it matters which chocobo you use. It does not. You need to just have at least one chocobo that can do the requirements. So this is the hardest one to open with that 200, 270. As long as you have a chocobo that has those requirements, um, you can open the whole map. I do think the animation's so cute with their little feet. <laughs> New power station. Let's go ahead and power that one up. Let's light it up. Pure adamantite. I don't even know what we use that for. Huh. All right. Let's look for more chocobo paths. Oh, there's one. And let's see, this one's an 80, 80, 50. Yep, we're good. I don't even know why I'm looking. I know they can open everything. And we'll power this one up. It's looking brighter already. One bright side of Chocobo chasing. I have plenty of kilowatts now. 
Oh, 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 is this, is this, oh, it's Graviton! I can teach laser farming! <laughs> I'm both excited and horrified because I have spent way too much time laser farming. Oh, we're getting so close! And I really do think I've only got one or two more sessions of this, um, and then it will be done, and I will be moving on to Stray. So if you're enjoying how I'm doing Final Fantasy XV, my next goal is a blind playthrough of the game Stray. Um, all I know is it's about a stray cat, and it's kind of a platformer. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, first time doing a blind playthrough where I know nothing about the game and streaming, so we'll see how it goes. But do join me if that sounds interesting. All right, 20,000. Got the power. And as always, I'll be posting... Ooh, Kane's Lance. I'll be posting all of my videos up to my YouTube, which is also Melia Mux About. Uh, one quick note about Kane's Lance, you get one per playthrough, and it is the only weapon that you cannot dismantle without ruining it. So do try and pay attention when you craft your canes that you've learned crafting and you know what you're doing. Go, my little chocobos! And we'll light this We're one up. We're the light back to Lucis. Faded crossbow, yes! That is one of my absolute favorite weapons. I will be crafting and switching out to that. Someone in chat says, yay for Stray. They're looking forward to it. Yay, I am too. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Something different for sure. I'll probably play a couple of short games before I go back into another long one like this. It is quite a time commitment for some of these bigger games. It's looking brighter already. I was hoping to find the clever sigil. Maybe I already have it. I'll have to double check. All right. Oh, oh, wait. No, there's one over here. Keep finding more. All right. Power this puppy up. Bringing the light back to Lucis. And I really do love just the whole concept of this game. The idea that it's the power station sending electricity all around to combat the darkness. It's kind of beautiful. <laughs> it really Very clever reuse of assets. Oh, so many new quests. We're bringing the light back to Lucis. Oh, oh, oh. Am I going to be able to make it? I might be able to make it to Insomnia. Let's give it a shot. Transmission complete. Oh, no, there's a block. No, out of the darkness. Oh, and of course, Clever is locked behind that one. That is the hardest defense in the whole, well, one of the two hardest defenses of Familiar Fright and Out of the Darkness. So it's going to take me a bit or another player in order to unlock that, unfortunately. All right, so it looks like now I just need to get to work on some of those padlocks. Bye now. 10 of 13 royal sigils. All right, well, let's see. Um, debating if I should craft up that bow really quick. I might take a crack at crafting this bow real quick. Anything I can assist with? Yes, I need my crafter. And I am using a recipe that I have created before and saved. I'm not sure how many of the items I have. So I am going to start just by looking at the bow. The bow is so nice because it has Kiraga. Oh, this is it, the faded crossbow. And it also has Asuna, so it cures a bunch of status ailments when you heal. This is my main healing weapon of choice whenever I get it. And so I want to see if I have enough to at least get They're started on it. So my recipe calls for four monster jaws. I'm just going to kind of go through my pockets until I run out of things. Yes, I have six. I can do one, two, three, four. Not too shabby. And then 19 antique coins. You find anything good out there? Well, I knocked a bunch of antique coins out of... Ronins, so I know they have to be here somewhere. <laughs> oh, we would all pay good money to have this alphabetized. How many lasers do I have? Oof, definitely don't want to do the laser build. 
I didn't think I missed it. I did not use all my antique coins, did I? Oh, nope, there they are. Okay, 13. Ah, I need 19, so I'll go ahead and just pour all of these on. Or do I want to? No, I'm going to not because I need to wait till I have them. I will forget how many I have put on. So I won't sadly be able to get Are to that one yet. One of the things I do want to check is if I have some good resistance items. So I'm coming to the end here. All right, so we have magic shards, spirit shards, vitality shards. I'm starting to get some good crafting things. See you around. Oh, I'm so sad. Nerdy! Thank you for joining! Anything I can assist with? Oh my gosh, now that Nerdy's here and Zillow B is here, I think I have to go do the Moog dance party again because, oh my gosh, Moog dance party. Apologies to everyone who saw it. I promise I'll stop doing it after this, but this is the most amazing thing. <laughs> and I discovered it, and I'm so happy to share it with people. All right, so I'm also going to let them know in the Discord, um, though no one wants to join me for this. <laughs> High level death gaze camp going up. Yeah, Nerdy's working on art. It's always good. All right, let's see. I need to do a quick play. <laughs> Somebody chat says, don't apologize. Mook dance party is awesome. I'm glad I'm not the only one who finds this amusing. <laughs> I found this and I was like, this is so wrong. <clears throat> Though I think I'm going to start off a little bit serious and see if I can get Death Gaze down a little bit more. So it starts using that hurricane attack because that also makes it better. <laughs> oh, let's all hope Jenica shows up again. She helps with the light show. Yeah, tonight I was basically doing mood dance parties and um, chicken fighting. <laughs> <clears throat> when people ask what this video game is about. <laughs> Alright, gotta try that dance. Get ready. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Got it all loosened up. We're good to go. <laughs> All right, come on, Jenica. You know you want to be here. You know you want to be here. I cannot regret the Moogle dance party as hard as I try. There are no regrets on this. <laughs> and then I will try clearing some of the map just to open up some of the um, other quests. Eventually, I'm hoping to show you all the joy of Angry Flap Flap as well, which is the giant gourmanding zoo bird. All right, here goes nothing. Yeah, it's, 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 it's. <laughs> yes, Jenica. Oh, Jenica loves me. She showed up. <laughs> all right, honest to goodness dancing to give myself some strength here. I'm not going to get hit by his purple goo this time. Nope. Alright. Oh, so fun. Alright, first we're gonna hit him a couple times. Maybe. I'm just getting hurt. <laughs> oh man. Need to wear him down a little bit. Ooh, Nelly's down. All right, Moogle dance party. <laughs> it's just so great with all the light shows. <laughs> Okay. Oh, heal myself a little bit. <laughs> oh no, that's bad stuff to be standing in. Oh well. <laughs> Too late. Alright, 
Alright. I sense another dance moment. Oh yeah. <laughs> the poor AIs are just like, stop dancing. <laughs> it's killing us, literally. <laughs> oh, come on, heal. I'm out of magic points. Dancing is rough. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, ready to go, ready to go, ready to go. There he is. Here we go, dance. Oh, wrong button, there we go. <laughs> yes! <laughs> sorry, not sorry, Nelly. <laughs> Oh, give me these tails! The hard part about Death Day is sometimes it's just reaching it. Alright, dancing! Oh, come on! <laughs> I mean, how can you not love this? Uh, so bad. My team is just like, we hate that Moogle. Why did they send us out here with the Moogle? <laughs> oh, I'm trying, guys. <laughs> I'm literally trying to hurt him. <laughs> it's not going well. Yes! Hurricane! No, I need to go dance in the hurricane! <laughs> Alright, I think if I dance here, I should be good. Come on, Death Gaze, hurricane! Oh, it's denying me my hurricane. <laughs> Matt's dancing too! <laughs> Oh, I will never be able to death gaze responsibly again, now that I know. <laughs> Ooh, more purple stuff! Alright, come on death gaze, gotta keep hitting you in the head! Oh yeah, here we go! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> I just can't get correctly positioned. my streams and be able to fast forward through me and my craziness, although that would seem to be against the point. <laughs> if you want to be able to skip, yes, the smoke columns are amazing. I do upload all my videos to YouTube under that name, Melia Mucks About, so um, obviously I go on my little goofy side stories here. I do try and provide helpful tips and tricks. I'm going to call that one of the best helpful tips and tricks I can give you. Moog Dance Party is my new favorite thing. <laughs> Alright, and to encourage me to be more responsible, I'm actually going to change out of the uh, dance or the mood costume. <laughs> okay, let's see. I need to, uh, let's see, edit myself. 
And I do love that you can always come in here, change in and out of costumes. There's no cost to it. Um, I'm going to go with my Kenny Crow. Oh, yeah. Probably need some pants. I mean, you don't always have to wear pants, but... And that's good enough. Oh, I need to remove the Moog off my name. Sorry, that takes an extra second. I know it goes black when it's on the... Uh, Naming screen. I don't want people to panic and think the game went down. Ah, oh, all right. As much fun as it was being a moog, time to be a little serious. I can barely keep up with you. Ah, my chocobo is sitting on the baleful bandersnatch. Oh, you know what I'm gonna do? Do I have Good anything? I'm pondering if I can do this. Let me see if I can buy a shield, because I want to show you guys what. All right, brain, stop, think. Merchant is over here. Okay. You want weapons? We got lots of them. Let's see if the shields are available yet. Kite shields, inertia shields, flame shields. Ooh, does that have flame bound on it? I don't know. I just need something. I do have my storm bound. I was hoping that I could get something maybe flame bound. I don't see that any of these have. Mithril knives. I should be able to do it with that, I think. Pleasure doing business. Oops. Although those are locked. Hey, come again. And I'm not gonna bother. Well, am I gonna bother switching out for my crafter? Yeah, I made it so it takes just a second, and it helps so much with the Anything weapons. I can assist with. Where's Promptus? Come here, Promptus. One more quick bout of crafting here. Yeah, someone in chat says maybe I should change his sandals to some hardy sneakers. I could get a rock or splinter. So true, but I kind of like the idea of someone just like kicking everyone's butt in flip-flops. It just makes me laugh. <laughs> so I mean, I don't give them shoes. Maybe I could even do it with bandits. Eh, whatever. You find anything good out we'll take there? a peek at this. I'm just going to do kind of quick crafting here. Looking to see if I have anything that's good for strength. Um, what do we need? We need strength, vitality, magic, and spirit. Wow, everything for these guys, huh? I do have some ancient claws. Oh, oh, those lasers. I could probably get away. Well, I don't want to waste my lasers on this. It does get hard to make junk weapons sometimes. Okay, thinking, what do I usually use for strength? Uh, I had talked about the Gorula Tusks. The Great Gorula Tusks aren't bad. I don't want to waste my monster jaws. don't think we have any curved hollow horns. I'm debating the wisdom of this. Okay, so I'm going to go down and start looking and just see if I have... That's the offensive spell, Blizzara. I'm looking for anything that is bound. So I'm actually looking at the skills as I'm going down. And that's anti-stop, air supremacy, parry boost, finisher... Oh, stormbound. So like a thunder rock feather. Oh, but we already have stormbound with my shurikens. I'm looking for flamebound or frostbound. <clears throat> and it doesn't look like I do have light bound, but light doesn't work for this. Of course, it's the one thing it doesn't. Wow, maybe I have no materials that will let me get... Oh, there's flame bound! Flame gemstone! I will totally waste a flame gemstone for this. Okay, so I just need to decide what weapon to do it on. I need one with an open slot. Uh, piercing bow has it. Oh, so does kite shield. Immortal Aegis well, has it. For you. Why not? Just for funsies. Okay, we're going to do that flame bound. Hmm. I've seen worse. Was that the wrong one? I think that was the flame shard, wasn't it? I am bitter. Find That's okay. I wanted the flame gemstone. There we go. That I will be dismantling this later anyway. So long. 
All right, and now with two of these, I can at least show you what Elemental does. Let's not take my crafter on a mission or I will cry. Anything I can assist with? Yes, let me go back to Teneb, please. <clears throat> Should I be nice and give him boots? <laughs> nah. All right, and then I am going to switch out my Tadayoshi for that Immortal Aegis shield and go in with Elemental. I will probably get my butt kicked, but it is kind of interesting to see what it does. Which hunt will you join? That is a very good question, Monica. What do you got that I think I can do? Let's see. Oh, there's a new urgent. Nope, not a familiar fright. That one's going to be a little rough. Oh, out of the darkness is also going to be rough. Many, uh... All right, I can't do any of these <laughs> with this particular thing. I am going to try the Baleful Bandersnatch to see if I can happen to get that Chocobo. I doubt it will happen, but... A fine choice. I can always use more Monster Jaws. I wish you a safe return. And so what Elemency does... Will it let me do it? It controls the environment. Um, so it's a very odd thing, and it only works if you have bound weapons. Unfortunately, I don't think it works with light bound. Nope, that's just letting me dance. And a regular cast, yeah. It's hard to really see what it's doing with the Praktoir, but hopefully we'll be able to see it better once we're in the mission. If Nerdy is still listening, I am so glad that you're moving along on your art. I have not been very successful in doing my poem a day that I was trying to do this month. <laughs> For Inktober. Alright, uh, depart with AI. I suppose I could also go do the laser farm. That might not be a bad idea now that I have Graviton. I can at least demonstrate how to do that. Ah, more fish. Every time I pick up a can of fish, I have to wonder if it's one of those cans that fell out of a goblin. It's so odd not to have this giant moogle head. <laughs> so elementcy is odd. It basically controls your environment. And as you can see, I'm going to make everything go really dark and stormy. It also makes things really hard to see for everybody. <laughs> so if you're in a mission and everything is getting really dark and weird color, either a nidus is erupting through the ground or someone's knocking around with elementy. And then you can see if I do it with fire. Oops. Yep, let me out. There we are. Now everything turns this weird kind of orangish and you can see all of the ashes floating around. And I think what it does is it makes it so that um, if you have a weapon or something's weak to fire, then it sort of increases that and makes it so that the people do more damage. But like I said, no one's ever really figured out what in the heck Elementy does, aside from cool environmental effects. <laughs> yeah. More antique coins. That's good. I need those anyway for my build. Oh, stabbed by a Ronin. Oh, didn't see that till it was too late. That's it. You get light bound. So I'll come down and do my flames again. Oh, well, when I have some magic points. There we go. I don't know that anyone in my group is using fireball, but... 
So LMNT is one of the weirder sigils. You won't see people running it very often. Yeah, someone said maybe it was intended to be counter element effects. Um, did they get dropped in FF 15 or 16? Yeah, 15. Um, there were still some elemental things, but it is very odd. It talks about controlling your environment. And at first people thought it was going to be something really cool, like uh, being able to start to freeze a lake and hold your enemies still. But this is pretty much what it does. Just makes the sky pretty colors. I guess someone's using fire, so hopefully that's helping Gus go. <laughs> Oh, there are some times in this mission I cannot see what is happening. Thanks, Jenica. She's great for Moog Dance Party, not so great for visuals and anything else. <laughs> Alright, gotta break these little faces. It's gonna be a little bit harder this time since I'm not using Aerial Aid. Oh, come on. Yep, give me that jaw. I want that jaw. Yes! One monster jaw acquired! And once again, this game really was built to have comrades. I do recommend farming with friends when you can. Um, the maximum jaws I can get from this right now are two. If I had a party of three or four, I could be raking in like six to eight monster jaws every single run. So it is well worth taking the time to ask for help and farm with friends. We're used to grinding. We're used to requests for help. Yay! Second monster jaw! But boo, no daggers. That wasn't too bad, even with the elements -y sigil. Nope, not picking up fresh heart. Nope. Or the mystery meat tin. Which is worse? Fresh heart or the mystery meat tin? <laughs> I don't trust either of them. Ah, Aranea! tight while I throw something together. Yay! Aranea came to cook for us! Best girl! Dinner is served. Better eat your fill while you can. Alright, antique coins. Ooh, only three. I am used to farming with friends. Seems like so little. I think actually I am going to save Graviton for next time. I'm going to go ahead and re-equip my weapons and see if I can open up some of the map a little bit. It has been a quiet night in the Discord. I was on a roll for a while though. Every week I was playing with different players. That was fun. Alright, let me double check what missions I you. need. Okay, so to open up, I'm looking for padlocks. Here we are. Okay, so for this one, I need, oh, Malignant Mixlon, Tech Waddle, Menacing Max. And of course, all of these tend to be the higher level when you get to padlocked areas. Looking for more padlocks. Doot, 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 doot. I see that one up here. Yep, 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 yep. A familiar friend. Okay, so they're all the ugly ones. Of course they are. And out of the darkness. Say hi to your pals. Alright, re-equipping. Uh, let's see, instead of my immortal Aegis, I think my strongest weapon at the moment is this Tadayoshi. Definitely do not want to be going in as the elemental again. Ooh, Rampage. There's benefits to that. Probably not. I think I'm going to go with Aerial Ace again. Alright, we're going to attack Menacing Mechs and see if I can do it. I foresee great things on your horizon. 
I think I can. I think I can. It's a level 70. Uh, sure, I can do this. Unsettling sounds emanate from the ruins of Kikatrich late at night. Some suspect the former war zone might be haunted by ghosts of the past, or perhaps something even more menacing. The glaive is tasked with uncovering the source of this suspicious noise. And of course, I'm telling them in the Discord. Camp going up for menacing mechs. Anyone welcome to join? <clears throat> Thank you. There is a little trick you can do with this one, so I'm hoping I can get away with it. Take care out there. I think for a familiar fright and out of the darkness, I'm either going to need a lot more crafting or to beg a little bit of help there. <laughs> I suppose I could try. Just see how far I get. Maybe with Lightbound Dagger, that does give me an advantage. Because both of those are demo uh, yeah, demonic quests. I do love that as you beat on the Praktoir, it gets less and less shiny. You can't ever kill it completely, but see, he's looking pretty beat up. <laughs> Somewhere, some tear. Poor little guy. Do core strike. <laughs> I guess that wasn't cores. I don't have uh, the Ameno Habakiri yet. I haven't done Deja Vu. I could try that one. But really, there's just a few more in-gem bonus fights, uh, and then there's some of the high-level things. And the second and third credits are actually quite close together. They are two of the final boss fights. So believe it or not, this is fairly close to the end of all the content of Comrades, <laughs> which is why I always tell people, you know, for, for what it is, it's a lot bigger than I expected it to be, but it's definitely not an MMO that's the size of something like 14 or World of Warcraft or anything like that. Um, <clears throat> in fact, once you've built your endgame weapons, if you do an NG+, you can usually finish the whole game within four hours. It's a really tiny short run, but there is a ton of lore in these fun Easter eggs packed in here. And with the community, and if you get friends to play, it really is an enjoyable game. Alright, so I'm buffing everyone, and then I'm putting on my dragon, and you can actually knock this rocket launcher off. Oh, if you hit the rocket launcher, dang it! Which makes your life a lot easier if you can do it. There we go! <laughs> Got it that time. Oh, oh, oh! Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out! Why am I stuck? Okay. Now, Nidus's will appear in this, and Liches are also going to be spawning the entire time. <laughs> so the longer you take, the more likely you are to be surrounded by a whole bunch of insta-death Liches. Oh, I should break its leg. I should have broken its leg, then it can't move. Basically, all of the tricks that you learn in laser hunting will work on the mech in here, too. There we go. Break the leg! Break the leg! Come on! Break! Break! Yes! There it goes. And so it's down in a pile of oil, and it can't move anymore, which lets me focus on these other ones. Wow, my team and I are not doing too bad for level 70. Oh, lots of explosions. Oh, come on. I feel like this one, the hit points aren't going down at all. I know I'm hitting it. <laughs> oh, come on. You've got a sliver of health. Oh, come on. There we go dancing again for power. You can see all the liches starting up, though. Oh, jeez. And I do not have death proof. <laughs> this is 
kind of an evil mission when you think about it. Lots of uh, explosions that are hard to see, lots of insta-kills, supernatural demons! Ah! No! Ooh, am I on a lich? I think I'm on a lich. Yep. Ooh, explosions! <laughs> Luckily, Air Step keeps me pretty immune! <laughs> this is a great place to farm liches if you're after um, Ancient Cloth. Ooh, yes! I will take it! Ah, whoo! I did it! Woo! And that's a hunt that's about 30 levels above me, so once again, in case I haven't made it clear in the past, Level really does not matter in this game. It is all your gear. If you build good gear, you can take pretty much the whole game. <laughs> Look at Kika Trench. Trench. Wow. Oh, and that weird statue. I still want to know about that weird statue up on the hill. And now I'll never know. But yes, that opened up something. I don't know what it opened. We'll have to see. Glad you made it back. Sorry for the wait. I'd be more than happy to cook for you again sometime. It's quite therapeutic. Jenica looks overexcited. It is funny. She is the AI that I have a love-hate relationship with. <laughs> she makes it so hard to see. And when she shows up at laser camp, I just want to strangle her because she lifts the mech up and you can't get to it. But she's also really good about picking you up and is one of the more useful AIs. Tobuls, he rarely shows up. He was in this one. He's a good fighter, um, but... Definitely one that you have to keep healing. He throws himself into the battle and often is in danger. All right, let's see what You're I got. Talk of the town, kid. Thanks to those photos. Now, ready first, to get powered up? First, I want to see what I opened. I opened something. All right, all right, all right. What am I gonna get? Was it that one? No. Oh, oh, oh! Here it is. It's looking brighter already. Dragoon Drain. Ugh. I should have known. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I have to tackle... Oh, I might be able to do Malignant. What will that one give me? Hawkeye. I think to move on, I've really got to get... Out of the Darkness in a Familiar Fright. Oi! Thanks again. All right, we're going to give it a try. I can barely keep up with you. I am going to die horribly. Ah, I guess I'll try out of the darkness. A pair of hunters driving through lead bore witness to a frightening sight. Hordes of demons emerging from the Bellevue mines. The glaive is tasked with ambushing the monsters as they appear and driving them back into the darkness whence they came. Oops, I can't type. Out of the darkness. Going up. I fully expect to fail this one. <laughs> Very well. Defenses are always much, much harder. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be able to do this, but I can at least show you why. <laughs> One nice thing about this is if you do manage to break the Yojimbo, he does occasionally drop clothing. Uh, one hilarious side note is if it's the good clothing, you actually get a kimono set that you can wear. If it's the bad clothing, it's necrotic negligees. So yes, you basically get Yojimbo underwear. Yeah, someone's asking if the game ever lets me win the cactus statue fight. Um, this one, no. I do wish if you got it down to zero hit points, it would have done something like burst into confetti or... <laughs> it would have been nice, but no. Oh, I know what I could do after, after I get my butt handed to me in this one, because I know I'm not going to win it. 
I can head over to InGem and do one of the bonus fights. I do still need to do those. But even when you're repeating a mission or kind of going through a chocobo chasing all of this, you're always collecting kilowatts and gill and materials. So it is one of those things where if you're not getting anywhere, just keep doing the missions. And as you get those materials and add things to your weapons, it does become easier and eventually you'll be able to handle. I mean, honestly, I can solo anything with my monster job build once you get good enough weapons. Um, so it can be a little bit repetitive, can be a little bit grindy. Hey, Kenny's here! I love when Kenny Crow joins. Alright, I have my daggers. This is going to be my best bet. Yeah, I don't have any other weapons that would be any good, so we'll just try. Here goes nothing. Kill the goblins, guys! I love all of their strengths are like 135, 167, 218. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely the front guard on this one. <laughs> Zillow B says one can always dream of a broken cactus statue. I know, it would have been nice. It is a little frustrating that you can't get him. All right. Here goes nothing. We're so dead. Woo, woo. No, no. Ow. Yes, block, block. No, dang it. All right, all right. Nope, I need that little goblin. If the goblins escape, it takes down your target point. <laughs> Oh jeez, and now we have gargoyles. Oh lordy. Yeah, my whole team is just going down. <laughs> oh, come on, stop. Oh, maybe I can kill them. Oh, Matt, nope, 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 come on. Give me Matt. Wake him up. Oh my gosh, this is rough. Nope, I see those goblins running for the gate. Nope, 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 nope. Stop. Nope, 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 nope. Can't let the goblins out. Nope, nope. Oh. This is so impossible. Oh, come on. You have to kill the Yojimbo and both gargoyles and keep all these little goblins from escaping. The one advantage I have is these light-bound daggers. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, and I knocked a can of fish out of the goblin. That's just the game being rude. <laughs> oh, Yojimbo. Nope, nope, there goes the goblin that's gonna win. <laughs> As you can see, it's easy to do hunts that are much higher level than you, but the defenses and escorts, the AIs really don't help, and so you do really need another player. Um, I do recommend don't throw yourself at them again and again until you burn out. Really just go on the Discord, ask for help, beg for a friend to join comrades just to help you with those, whatever you have to do. <laughs> but until you are insanely overpowered strong, uh, doing defenses that are more than 10 levels above you, or even even defenses, can be nearly impossible. But it was still fun. And the worst consequences in this game is this, Tent of Shame. <laughs> and you don't get any of the materials. Alright, let's head over to InGem. I am pretty sure, though, that I can knock out one of these. Alright, so we've done Melusine, Gilgamesh, Death Gaze, Cerberus, and then these are the Kings of Yore. I don't believe... Oh, maybe I did the Mystic. Uh, nope, it looks like the only one I have left is Arden and Ravis. Definitely can't do those guys. <laughs> 
I'm hitting the point where I'm gonna have to stop and actually craft a decent weapon. Thanks to those photos. I'll hold sure, on to V. All the let me let me check your photos takes. while I think about this if for a minute. One you like, I can frame it for you. Ah, dancing Moogle. <laughs> Matt and Boogle dance party. Not the best photo, but the memories are there, so I'll keep it. Gosh, he only took pictures of me fi actually fighting death gaze. All right, let me go, V. Let me go. I have the light to defend. All right, one more. Let's pick one of I them that I haven't done yet. On your horizon. Definitely can't do a familiar fright, but I know I opened up some new escorts and defenses. Ooh, everybody's grown. That's another defense. I could probably do this hunt. Let's do new king in town. A new threat has arisen in the nebula wood. The ruins hidden deep in the thicket have proven popular among behemoths. And now the true king among king of beasts has made his royal entrance. Woo! All right, so camp four, new king in town. Going up. A fine choice. Oh my gosh, I thought that this one dropped a particular spear, and so I found out I was farming the wrong mission for a couple days. <laughs> so embarrassing. And if you do join the Discord community, there's a general chat channel where people from all the platforms get together and can answer general questions. And there's also a sheet that that community has put together that has all kinds of weapon builds, um, where to find materials. They really are a supportive, helpful community. We want everyone to continue to enjoy this game for as long as we can. Even if it's getting a little wobbly around the corners. I have knocked him over! Oh, oh, oh! I'm getting close to where I can get him down! Five seconds, come on! Yeah! I pretty much took all his hit points. Sometimes when you're doing departure, if you get photos of Ignis in the Cactuar, for some reason it's always at night and the Cactuar is all lit up and it looks like another little rave party thing. <laughs> Iggy's Cactus Party. All right. I'm going to sneak up here as usual and take a quick look around. I like all their little comments. You're safe with me. Ah, Sada, if you had rhythm, you should have joined us in the Moogle dance party. Oh, I know where I am. Okay, this is that mountain one that was near where some of the... Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. There's Shiva's blast and where Titan's holding the meteor. I really do applaud them for getting several games out of the same sort of set. Um, I know I've talked about it at length before, but there was something about doing it through Noctis' perspective and then seeing these other perspectives. But I think Comrades is one of the best in part because it didn't have you fill in just this little tiny niche part of traveling with the bros or something. It literally is just this feeling that you are the one holding the line for the bros. And it shows how important everyone in the world was during this time of darkness. I don't know. There's just something about it. It was very well done, in my opinion. Oh, I forgot about these things. <laughs> if you can, you want to aim for their tails for that barbed poison needle. Um, I think I'm just lucky that I happened to hit one. Because <laughs> aiming for their tails in this mess is miserable. <laughs> Ferocious! I dance in the face of ferocity. Wait, I see invisible. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, big pause. Ha! Take that! 
And if you ever knock them over, try and hit their head with as many warp strikes as you can to break the horn. It's probably the easiest way. Yes! Wow, all my luck tonight went into this mission, apparently. Oh yeah, no problem. We got this. Nice and quick. Hey, Sada. Dance party! <laughs> Sada's like, I don't understand you. <laughs> Man claimed he likes to dance. I claim he lies. <laughs> He's judging my dancing. <laughs> yeah, someone in chat and the dance party. Dance party! Oh, I will not regret having found that Moogle dance party, but yep, <laughs> it's a thing now. Welcome back. Bon appetit. It's hard to recreate the taste of home, but I make do with the seasonings I have. Yeah, those barbed poison needles are particularly useful. They're tiny and they add just a little bit of strength. Um, sometimes when you get a weapon all the way up to its cap, that, that one right before it, you can actually slip a barbed poison needle in without having the weapon max out and then just get an extra one or two points. Um, it just depends how much you want to min-max or optimize your weapons. To be honest, eventually you hit a damage cap. There's multiple ways to get to the damage cap, so I always tell people just have fun. If you can, look in your pockets, use the stuff you have. All right, and on that note, looking at my clock in real life, I see that it's about 8.30. Um, I usually keep my streams to about an hour and a half just to keep them watchable, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here for the evening. Um, I do want to say, you know, as always, thank you to everyone who's turning out and supporting my stream. I also do upload all of my videos to YouTube. Um, so in case you want to skip through silly things like the Moog Dance Party, I don't know why you would, but if you do, you can always go to my Melia Mucks About. I also have a great crafting video there. Um, I like likes, follows, all the things that YouTube folks do. And, you know, once again, just Thank you to everyone who's supporting me. Thank you to the Comrades community. Um, I really enjoy this game, and I, I hope it does stay active enough that people can play it for at least a little bit longer. So on that note, I hope everyone has a great night, and I will see you in a week.